we are back with a bonus review. And today we are checking out some candy that Target was putting on clearance, but they were Nintendo themed and licensed by Nintendo themselves. So I figured, hey, let's check them out. They're 89 cents a piece. And uh, I figured I'd do a little bonus pickup review for you guys just to see what it's like to eat $7 mints um, and candies. They're all different, apparently. Um, so without further ado, let's check them out. Let's let's just unbox these and see what we got going on here. We'll start off with the controller. We're gonna take off the wrapper around it, and if we can get it off, we'll check out the outside once the glare from the wrap is gone. So you got a nice little classic style controller here. It's about the same size as the original controller. Uh, it's even got the indentions for the buttons. Pretty cool. It says Nintendo. Power mints, so like Nintendo Power, but the mints. So it's pretty cool to just see Nintendo Power printed on something in 2018 or 2017. So we got Nintendo eShop on the back, the license there, distributed by Boston America Corps, 2017. Uh, dextrose, maltodextrin, magnesium, stere, natural and artificial peppermint flavors. Interesting. So and there's the nutritional facts. Let's check out inside here. Oh, it's like a little Altoid tin. Hmm, let's try them out. Mm. Pretty bad. Um, tastes like a stale dinner mint. I guess that's why it's on um, clearance. Ooh, horrible flavor. Yeah, tastes like a like a dinner mint. Like something you get, I don't know, like a, not, it's not like a powerful mint. It's not something you want to put in your mouth to like freshen your breath. It's like something that you put in your mouth to like take the taste out of your mouth from eating something. But ugh, horrible. Um, yeah, not a good review on that one. But the tin's pretty cool. Don't really know what you could put in there. I guess you could store J's in there or something. I don't know. But it's a nice length. Um, put some anything in there. I guess just a little tin. But pretty neat. We'll check out the Mario ones. We'll go with the the Link one after. And this one's got just a little eight bit Mario on it. And I'm slide off this so you guys can actually see the tin. So you got a little 8-bit Mario action. You got the the red, the red on red with the with the brown. Basically he looks kind of like a monkey with uh with overalls on. Um the brown just looks like hair. On the back here we got a little classic scene here, the opening scene um, from Super Mario Brothers right there. Uh, same ingredients here, and then you got the nutritional information is just gone, but they give you a website to go to, to check it out. Officially licensed product. This one's from 2016, so these are two years old. Uh, eShop there, made in China. It's always good to see that. Okay, this one's a little bit classier. This one comes in a little bag, little baggie, and these are little bricks. These don't look so so much like the other ones, but these are more like little bricks. I don't know if you can see that. We'll slice this open too. So let's check out what we got here. There you go. So got that little brick design on both sides. Yep. Tastes exactly. Yeah. These are exactly like the uh, the Nintendo. Power mints, you know what I mean? Um, whoo, horrible. Yeah, the thing won't even close because they're all in the bag, but um, yeah, horrible. Whew. Basically, after dinner mints, Ugh. can't get that taste out of your mouth. And then you got the little Zelda ones. Now, these are orange sword sours. So let's see, it's a little bit, whew. a little bit of different flavor. We'll check these out. Orange Sword Sour. So you got that 8-bit link on there. Classic with the small shield. You know, nothing too crazy. Um, but definitely the 8-bit version of Link. And then on the back here, you got Orange Sword Sours, which has actually the same ingredients, except for this one has citric acid in it, which is what makes it... Um, that's what makes it sour. So there we go. Citric acid, nutritional information, vetoed, eShop official license and this is 2017 so pretty cool and it's got the classic Zelda logo at the top from the original Legend of Zelda Ooh, 
this one is in a little bag. So it looks like the Nintendo Power Mints are the only ones that just came powdered to all hell. And the inside of this, you can definitely tell he's got beat up. So, the little swords. These are sour swords. We'll see what these taste like. But there's the little, little swords right there. And we're just going to tear the corner right there. And we'll pull out a sword and show you guys. So, there's the little power sword. It looks just like the little sword that Link throws in the original Zelda game. Pretty cool. Let's try it out. Definitely had a better flavor than the the mints. Um, it was definitely like a sour candy, uh, but like a sour, like a sour pill because of the way the consistency was of it. It was almost like a sour pill, like a sour sweet tart, I guess if you would. Um, it's almost how intense the flavor is, is to compare it to a sweet tart, but. Um, out of the three of these, I would say definitely the Zelda one had the better um, flavor, at least. The other the other two were like dinner mints. Weren't something that I think would appeal to a kid, and I imagine that's who these are geared towards. I mean, the even the the Mario tins definitely got a lot of retro nostalgia to it, but I wonder why it's bent like that. It's like got this bowed out, and every one of them were on the shelf were all bent like that, too. It just has this like bowed look to it. I mm, thought that was weird, but yeah, out of all of them, I would say the, the Link one tasted the best, and out of all the tins, the Nintendo controller, Nintendo Power Mints, the controller was probably the best tin out of all of these. All the other two were cool, they had a little retro nostalgic twist to them a little bit, but yeah. I don't, if you try these mints, let me know in the comments below. I mean, I think these mints were horrible. If you like the Sour Swords, let us know in the comments below if you didn't, or you did. Let us know in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want more content like this, subscribe. Thursday we do pickup videos, and this week I just happened to post two pickup videos. So be on the lookout for that. Tomorrow we got a retro electronic slash toy review. So subscribe for more. Have a great rest of your day.